Okay, I'm going to show you how to complete this assignment. All right, so I'm gonna go incomplete assignments. You can get to it from here, you can get to it from here. If this notification is minimized, it's gonna look like this. Regardless, you're gonna to go to incomplete assignments. Find my name, you might have more than one teacher's name. Click on my name. Here's my sample one, just for the video. Now I'm gonna move myself up here, okay. So I'm gonna answer this question. So I'm gonna answer this one right, perfect, beautiful. Go to the next question, okay? And um, I'm gonna intentionally pick a wrong answer. It's gonna give me some related vocabulary. First of all, it gives me a hint. Then it gives me some vocabulary that I can look up, okay? And uh, so then I'll try again, I'm just gonna get it wrong. Now, when I go to review, when I click review, I'm allowed to see all the questions I've done so far. I can do exit and save if I want to come back to this later, but I'm going to keep working. I'm going to um, pause this in a minute and continue the questions, but I want to show you a couple things. You are able to pull up a calculator whenever you want. You are able to pull up the whole entire list of reference tables. Um, these um, A, table A through T, that's the normal reference table, and here's the periodic table right here. So a lot of times I just have that as a tab. Um, you are also able to do an eliminator. So let's look at the next question. What does that mean? That means, okay, sulfur, if I know it's not a noble gas, I can cross this out, go back to the eliminator, it gets rid of that option. It's gotten rid of that um, as a choice for me, okay? Um, and then I can choose from these. So sometimes it helps as a visual since it's not on paper, okay? But let me pause it as I continue uh, just taking the test. Okay, here we are. It says, woohoo, I finished. And here's what I got right and wrong. Okay, I can keep reviewing if I want to look over those questions, but I'm going to go to the student center at this point. When I do, I'm automatically going to get a message that says, you just got assigned a retake. So if I go to completed assignments, nothing is going to be here because I didn't complete this assignment. I have to get a 75, okay? So I'm gonna click on it again, and you'll see for the video, automated, automated retake one. So I click, it's literally going to be the same questions, but I have to get a 75 or higher, or that's it, okay? Um, I can never finish the assignment. In order to finish the assignment, I need to get a 75 or higher. So let me pause this as I retake it to get that 75. Okay, here we are, I finished. You can see here are my results. I still intentionally got one wrong on retake so we can see what happens. So I can keep reviewing if I wanna look over the questions again. Um, I can go to now Student Center. When I do that, notice I didn't get that pop-up, no automatic retake, okay? I click on incomplete assignments, there's nothing here for me. But now when I go to completed assignments, you can see I have two that showed up here. So now I see my score. So the first time I got a 50, the second time I got an 83. So that is the automated retake. Just so that you know what is available over here, click on this. Uh, you can look at flashcards for this particular um, lesson, like the ones that would help. Okay, I can close this. What else can I look at? I can favorite it and say, you know what, I, I probably should go back to this. Um, I can look at the report. What does that mean? Um, it'll tell me um, how many I got right, how many I got wrong, when I took it. Um, I can look at individual questions. Okay, so you can go back to the questions. I just click on the question. I can look at them, okay? Um, and I can look at what topics, how I did on individual topics. I can look at um, standards, what I did on individual standards. These top, this right here, super helpful. You can see pff, this I understood, this not so much. Also what is helpful right here, vocabulary relevant to the questions I got wrong, okay? I can make a study sheet. I can also do this right here, start practice assignment. Um, and it says you didn't select any topics. So what does that mean? I go back to the topics and I say, okay, well, I seem to know these. So I wanna do this, check, check, 
check. Those ones I didn't know so much. Start a practice assignment. Just assign this to myself. Okay, it gives me 15 questions about that topic. Okay, easy enough. It's a lot of great things here in Castle Learning and we're going to be using it more and more. All right, hopefully that helps.